Hi, my name is Sean Jordison for Creative Pro, and we're gonna look at some tips for styles in Microsoft Word 365. I have several heading ones throughout this document. We have history of dinosaurs, famous dinosaurs, and a couple of other H1s. Typically, I advise that we only have one H1 per document, but I've been starting to change that philosophy. Now, our top level title is actually set to the title attribute, and it should come through as a heading one when we go to convert it to PDF. But what if I wanted an additional heading level one, or perhaps an additional heading level two that looked a little bit different? To apply a new style, I'm going to select this pop-out button in the bottom right corner of the Quick Styles menu. This will pull up all of the styles that are currently in my document. To add a new style, I'm going to select this button called New Style in the bottom left corner. Let's give it a name. I'm going to name it H2 Alternate. And the style is going to be based on Heading Level 2. And let's say we wanted to have it a dark green. And let's make it bold. And just so that it sticks out a little bit more, we are going to make it centered in the middle of our page. Let's go ahead and select OK. We now have an H2 alternate that can be used to format other H2 topics in our document. And when we go to convert it over to PDF, all of our H2s are going to come through just the way that they should. Let's go ahead and see that now. To save this file, to retain all of the hard work I've done in Microsoft Word, I'm going to select File, Save As, and let's change the drop-down menu from Word document to PDF. Then let's choose Save. I'm going to open up my new file in Adobe Acrobat, and let's jump right to the Tags panel. And something that I love about this save feature is that the title automatically went to an H1 tag. We then have a properly nested table of contents, and we can see some of our other H1 tags in the document. And here is our first H2, notable dinosaur types. We have our table. Let's see if we can find one of those green headings that we applied. And here it is, links and resources, and it properly is tagged as an H2 element. This is a really powerful feature for ensuring that your formatting in Microsoft Word is carried over in Adobe Acrobat when using the file save as method. That concludes today's tip on using styles in Microsoft Word. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.